Hi, John. How are you? Uh, can you hear me? Uh, let me put the speaker up a little bit. Hold on a sec. John, my name is Mohammed Shaban, and I am uh, calling uh, on behalf of an Institute of Southland American Muslims. It's a nonprofit organization that I have signed with uh, Google for nonprofit. I think since uh, before even December. And I wanted to know what happened uh, to my uh, my account. Uh, because Google got me dizzy. They sending me all over the, the world, you know, uh, for uh, for fraud and, and con artists and uh, professional hacking and all that stuff to send me stuff that has already been free. Okay, now I am not, first of all, let me just uh, pre-apologize to you because I'm not targeting you as an employee of uh, Google, but um, I'm, I'm an activist, that's why. So can we find my account and get all the, you know, the stuff that I was supposed that Google actually advertised and they, they uh, you know, you call me, oh yeah, Google for nonprofit, you get the grant, you get free advertisement, you get free whatever, and uh, you know, I change my domains. I host everything now with Google. In fact, I have like maybe 14 different domains. My uh, viewers is going sky high, like in, in the rate of 2,000 to 2,500 a day. And uh, AdSense tried to calm me and telling me, oh, well, you got to you change your, uh, you know, your location and your address, we concerned about your uh, privacy and all that nonsense. So can you please answer all my concerns? And if you can't, maybe you can send me to your legal department or, uh, you know, administrative officer or so. Okay. All righty. My last name is Shaban, S-H-A-B-A-A-N. Uh, the domain name, I have uh, many of them, but let me give you the one that, uh, it was islam1us.com. Uh, you want me to spell it for you? It's, uh, yes, please, that'll be great. Yes, I-S-L-A-M-O-N-E-U-S. Dot com. No, no, you forgot the E. Did you get the E after the, for one? O N E. One. O O N E, yes, sir. Yes, US, okay. Thanks, Jermaine. Please have your email address, address. My email address, Alexandria Shabon85 at gmail.com. A L E X A N D R I A Shabon, my last name, S H A B A A N 85. There is no number sign or dot or anything. 85 at gmail.com. Yeah, if you need a reference reference number that you guys send me back in uh, December, I have the reference number here. And the person that I talked to, his name was Dennis. Oh no, I talked Troy Google Domain Support Team. Yeah, Troy, and he was uh, from uh, somewhere in uh, North Northern Ireland, England. Uh, yeah, the the reference number is four dash zero seven seven six one two three four five five zeros nine seven nine five. Four dash 
0776-50-9795. That's right. Is that right? Yes. Let me ask you something, please. Do you have access to the admin of your services for this domain? What's that? Do you have in console for the Google Ads? Oh, you've been cutting off, man. Even though I'm calling in <laughs> and hanging out, but still. Uh, yeah, can, can you repeat that? Yeah, yeah I just... I just, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I uh, applied for Google Ads, uh, no, go, uh, what do you call it, AdSense, and the, uh, every time I get a technical support call, if I inquire one, someone calls me from all over the globe, all right, and they have nothing to do with Google, try to conf and professionally hack and fraud me out of money all right i'm a i'm a i'm a, an american with disability i am mentally and physically disabled i get very limited income and that's what i'm funding my nonprofit with institute of southland american muslims did not get a penny from no one except my reward since uh 2014 when I got the 501c3 all right and since that time everyone I mean I'm not gonna accept you know uh, make any exception that uh, there is anyone that uh, any any company or uh, you know or organization that they were kosher they all fraud and i'm sorry and i'm not trying to attack you again they all frauding people and the fcc and the federal government and the department of justice she's just a very complacent and they still asking me or asking everyone that get victimized and i'm not talking about violation i'm talking about heinous crimes against the masses financially and otherwise they ask you, oh, who did what and when? And if you don't respond within two weeks and three days and five hours and 28 minutes and a half, we know that you are not interested, Mr. Shaban. Okay, so they sent me somewhere and this guy, we chatted, all right? And uh, he tried to... Uh, right after, you know, when, when I'm talking to him, he's trying to host my website with some other, you know, some other host, uh, you know, I noticed that it's in fishy. I said, oh, yeah, you just click here and, and he's trying to pull a fast one. And I, um, I told him, I hang up. Of course, I recorded everything and I put it in YouTube. And uh, I tried to copy and paste the conversation and Google just sent me a, a very nice, uh, what you call it, virus. <laughs> I can't, you know, I couldn't, it, it just, you know, all scrambles, you know, script and it keep going and going. And, you know, if I leave the computer on in that page all night, all day, it will not go away. That's, that's as you know as bad as they are and uh, so i wanted to know are you guys are google or you are somewhere that uh, you know google allocated the services uh, everywhere uh, to calm people and fraud them out of uh, their livelihood and sell them apps that is already free for a long time They have a lot of companies around the world. They work with with outsourcing companies. We are one of those outsourcing. Alrighty. We work for Google. This is Google. So this is Google for work support or Google for nonprofits. Okay. So how much do you want on my credit card, and uh, so you can give me the service? <laughs> it's one one time fee. Okay, access my account where? Yes, I will show you how 
not do it. Uh -huh. What browser are you using, sir? Google Chrome? Yes. Open an new window. Huh? Yes, please uh, open a new window, sir. Open a new window, sir. Okay, hold on a second here. Let me open a new window, sir. All right, let me see here. Open an incognito one. Huh? An incognito one. It's better if you, if you open an incognito uh, window, sir. Yeah, brand new window. Okay, brand new window, all right, sir. Okay. Once you, once you have it open, please. I have, I have the Google Apps here, so where do you want me to go? Page admin back administrator Google.com, sir. Oh. Admin. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on a second here because really I am not. Uh, I still have. Uh, So you are, uh, wh where are you located? I'm located in Bogota, Colombia, South America. Oh, okay. Okay, Google, uh, admin.google.com. Enter. Yes, sir. It will, it's going to ask you for password, right? To access the Google account, am I right? Uh, no, no, ask me, sign in to Google accounts, yes. Or sign in. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It says sign in to your admin console, the Google Help Center. Is that the one? That's the one, yes. Sir. Do you know what is the, the admin email address for this account? Yes, the admin, uh, yes. You want me to sign? Uh... Oh, wait a minute here. Oh, well, it's already there. Sign in to your admin. Huh? Domain. The one ending in at Okay, it, it brought me that uh, Google Apps Administrator help, and then Google Apps Administrator, and then help form, contact us, use your admin console, sign into your admin, and the, all of this. I, I've been getting that for the last couple of years and I get dizzy in the end and then I get frustrated and then I, I, I leave it aside and that's what Google been doing <laughs> before All right, sir, I'm sorry to hear that but let me ask you something please what is the email address you're using sign in my email address to sign in it's uh, yes, di director Direct, director, well, I'm, I'm not getting there. I'm not getting the page. I'm getting the page that you know what I'm talking about. Please don't insult my intelligence. Google now. They, wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. Uh, let me finish, please. Google, when you go and do anything, <laughs> Google send you to Google Apps Administrator help. And then it's like a... Options that it has nothing to do with helping you. It says help form, contact us, use your admin console, sign into your ad admin console, admin console uh, feature map, support supported browsers, new Google apps, sign in, and there is nothing there. It says now. Here, admingoogle.com. I go back to admin Google and then I'm going to come back to this page. Hold on a second. I'm just... Oh, here you go. Okay. Now, now wait a minute here. The, I wanted that address... Okay. Hold on a second. This address was uh, created back then. But I want to change that. Because now I have, uh, you know... Uh, an, uh, what do you call it? With the website, I have a new... Uh, Director, you know, address.
You know what I mean? What address what address is the one you need to change, sir? Director and your domain? Uh, wait, wait, wait. He, uh, let me, let me, I, I just decided, hold on a second. Let me see if I can open that page. Yeah, it's loading now. Hold on a second. Bear with me, okay? Because I, I, I know, I, I know that I'm a little bit hard to take, but my friend, I've been, you see, Problem, uh, pardon the interpretation. Continue. Continue with the admin cancel. What's that? Your trial has ended. Please select a plan and set a bu uh, up billing to continue using Google Apps. Please visit uh, the billing page and set a, up a billing. I already have Google Wallet. It has 40 bucks. I have four different cards in a domain. Then I tried to buy a new domain and pay with Google Wallet, and no one, they sent me all over the globe, and no one told me how to transfer money from Google. Before I used to do just a click, and then it goes right to Google Wallet, charge the account, and done with. That's what that's supposed to be. Google Wallet is a Google, right? right so what, what, why is now fix this? Continue to domain console. Fix what? Okay. You see, that's what I'm telling you. Okay, right, fix. Sir. Hold on a second. Huh? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, I fix. Uh, I'm trying to see what, what they trying to do. I'm sorry, I forgot your first name. What's your first name again? John. John? Yes, sir. Uh, John, you see, I am. That's why I get dizzy. All Google wants to do, and all the, you know, the outsourcing of all these places, they just want to calm people out of their money. It's unbelievable. Here, setting up billing. Why I set up billing when I already have Google Voice? I mean, uh, Google Wallet. Billing. All righty. Go ahead. Yes, sir. What I am. Okay, yeah, admin console. Hold on a second. Users, company profile, billing. I am in the next page. Uh, view reports. Uh, let me see support. Uh, hold on a second. I need to have something from there, from there, please. Huh? What's that? Uh, so go back to the previous page because this is the setup billing. They wanted to get my money. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, it says you're uh, 30 days free. It was uh, expired. Why 30 days free expired when Google's supposed to give me the grants and free advertisement and all of that stuff? Fix. All right, let me go back from this here. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, oh, the... Not the reference number, right? That I gave you early. Yeah, it won't take me the page. Hold on a second. Sign to admin. Hold on a second here. It's just going slow. Let me close other uh, browsers here so this one will go fast. Okay. Are you still? Are you still there? Okay. Hold on a second. Let me. I don't wanna. Uh, let me see. Oh, this is one. Uh, I'm missing a question. Can I have your phone number in case I need to call you back? Yeah, 714 646 6908. Got it, John? Okay, let me. I close this one. I, uh, let me close this one. 
and you're still there, right? I didn't lose you. Now, let me go back here, John. It's, uh, okay, it's not doing anything. It just froze. Oh, here you go. It's moving. Uh, okay. Maybe I can get to that window. Uh, my account. All right. Right? Oh man, it got my account control. Welcome, Mohammed Shaban. This is my account. Uh, yeah, security. What is the support? You're signing to your Google. Oh shit! No, that's not what I want. My account. The admin console. Okay, uh, let me continue to go back here. This is unbelievable. You see what I'm talking about, John? And I thought that I was a computer a little savvy. <laughs> That's what Google became, man. It's so unbelievable. It just gets you dizzy, John. And you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Well, I'm sorry, sir. I'm not looking at your screen, but I understand you're telling me it's kind of complicated to manage, right? Uh, yeah, it's not complicated. It's, it's just that they, uh, they jerk you around and get you dizzy so you get frustrated and then you go take some skittles and see your shrink and everything and that's the whole plan. If they can't get your money, they just send you to the crazy house. And, uh, you know, and that's been happening not only Google, but everyone, including the federal government. Hold on a second. I, I'm waiting. It won't take me back. Okay. It just, look, it prompts you to go to fix this. Continue to admin council. Okay, let me see this one. Continue. Hmm. It's an opening. Hold on a second. Bear with me, John. Yeah, it's loading. Taking its time. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Now, where you want me to go? Uh, well, it's open again. Okay. Where is the support? It says... Oh, here you go. Let me see here. Admin, let me see if this is what give me support here. Admin billing company. Oh, home. Home users profile billing. Where is the support? Security, device management, home. Oh, maybe if I go home, it will get me back to, uh, huh? To support. Let's see here. support uh, okay John I need your help here where is that support icon is supposed to be at yes it's a users billing uh, company profile huh green one with what Okay, hold on a second here. Maybe I am not. Uh, hold on a second. Green one with what? Oh, question mark. All right. Well, this is... Oh, it says help. John. <laughs> Why you didn't tell me that 30 minutes ago? That this is a support. You see what I mean? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, now Google Apps Administrator help. How to contact Google Apps Support, Google Apps Support Pen. You want that one? Huh? What's that? Click on that box that says get pen, please. Get pen, okay. Uh, pen number uh, to locate your pen number. Hold on a second here. 
Oh, <laughs> sign in. Oh, 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 get a pin. It, it, it says now I have to do the whole other stuff to get the pin, man. Where's the pin? More about the pin. Okay, hold on a second here. Let me just read you all of this stuff here. It says to locate your pen. Uh, hold on a second. To locate your pen, support uh, a sign into the support page in the Google Admin Console. Well, I'm already signed. <laughs> Click the product. Click the product contacting us. Oh my God! Click get pen. Yeah, but it, it's not prompting me to get the pen, John. It giving me the whole new thing to start to all over again and get dizzy. That's what I'm talking about. It says, look, I swear, I'm, I'm not lying to you. It says, Google Apps Administrate, hold on a second, Administrative Help or whatever. And then under there, there is, it says, Google Apps Support Pen. 24 7 phone email and chat and all that stuff you don't need a pen for chat or email support log into your support to contact us button button <laughs> to see all contacts options to locate your pen number one so sign into the support page in the google admin console click the product you are <laughs> contacting us about what well, i'm contacting you about uh because i'm dizzy now john so where should i go huh uh, that's what google does my friend that's what they do. They jerking people and jerking them. Huh? Huh? I'm here to help you, sir. Alrighty. Help. I'm just listening to what you're saying, sir. Go ahead, please. Okay, then it says it says number one, sign in to support page to the Google admin thing. Number two, click the product you are contacting us about. What I'm contacting you about. Such as, yeah, I have some question about how this thing works. Where is my money? Where is my free advertisement? Where is my, 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 my? Isn't what, that's what it is? Why do I have to go through that and yell at you and scream and lose my mind that, you know, I don't sleep. I don't need all of this. Why Google is conning and frauding people and jerking them around and, and getting them dizzy. And I'm sorry, I know that you work in there. This is a working feature, but for some reason it doesn't work on your end. It's not giving you any options on your end. We will need to check on that, sir, which is not why. Uh, uh, okay, check. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up and you check and let me know. Okay, I'm here. I'm I'm silent now. Well, we'll have a conversation. We'll have a conversation. Not a problem. I would like to do a remote session so I can see your screen, so I can see what is the behavior. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 John. No, 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 no remote, my friend. The remote. That's what they get ya. I've been conned and frauded before. Remote. And then the the uh, <laughs> then they sent the virus there. What's that? Take any control over your computer. I'm not allowed to do that. I will be able to see your screen. No, no, no. I don't want you. I don't. Why would I want you to see my screen? Why is Google doing this and denying people the rights and then selling them to you and uh, not you personally? I know that you're working for. Uh, Right thinking individuals, corporate America, probably somewhere in, uh, you know, Colombia or what have you. Uh, so why would I do that? Why would I give you my information? Why would I give you my, you know, my password and all this so you can go on my screen and just hack me? 
and fraud me out of everything that I have that I don't have actually? Why would I do that, John? I'm just trying to walk you through a process that you need to do, sir. Uh, okay, walk me the, through the process without getting in my in my personal information. Did you hear anything about privacy and violation of the? Uh, what were you trying to? You said, uh, let me uh, remote sign in and so I can see and walk you through it. Huh? I need to see your screen. I already told you what my screen has, John. Sure. Okay? I already told you what my screen has. And you know exactly what my screen has because that's what you guys are doing. You're frauding people. Not you, John, personally. You're working there. You're probably making minimum wage in Colombia. And they're abusing you. You're overworking and, uh, you know, no, no benefits or what have you. And then they're uh, telling you, oh, go con Americans, you know. So, what, what would... I, I, never mind. I'm just talking to myself. What did you say? I said, I said the... No, no, don't worry about it. I'm just, uh, you know, chatting with my own self. Now, uh, what, how are we going to fix that, John? All right, I need you to please open a... Open a what? A private window, an incognito window, sir. Open a new window? An incognito one. A who? A private, how to do that? No, I, I told you I'm not computer savvy. Window, an incognito window? Huh? Chrome settings. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me let me get these three dots here and see what's in there. Yeah. <laughs> Search help. <laughs> uh, why why don't they simply send me the pen so I can give you the pen and then we'll go. Oh, sign in again. All righty then. All righty. I'll sign in. I know, wait, wait, wait. I don't have a pin. I know, but that's what... The, oh, uh, now I can't get in. <laughs> oh, let me see. Hold on a sec. Oh, sign to, sign to Alexandria, Shabon. Okay. Okay. Hold on a second here. Let me see. Whew. Are you still there? John. Okay. Yes, I'm uh, it's taken. It's taken. It's taken. I'm. Ta I'm signing. I'm signing to my. Uh, my, you know, my account. Here's support. All right, support. Now. Oh, okay. Now, where the pen should be? Get a pen. All right, then. Get a pen. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> John, guess what? Yes, I got a pen for you. <laughs> That's great. May I please have it? You see how complicated it is, John? And I thought that I have a little intelligent, you know, even though I am, you know, old and I don't sleep and everything, but all right, John, here you go. It's nine three four three six three two seven. Yeah. Check the status of the application that you did. Thank you for giving me the pin, sir. I appreciate it. Uh huh. So what do you want me to do now? Bear with me just a moment. The condition that you did. Perfect. I want it. Oh wait, 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 John, John, John. Tell me. Uh, you know why I called you from the first place, John? I wanted to be able to access the, uh, access that account and get all the benefits, okay, that I'm entitled to under the law. I'm not asking for freebies or gift or what have you. I'm asking them to come through. I am a non-profit. I pay my taxes. I'm a good fella. 
and I need Google need to step up to the plate instead of trying to con me and, and, and fraud me as they do with millions of people, all right? All over the globe, billions with a B. Now, when I signed for that, they said, oh, free advertisement, grant, and everything for nonprofit and all that, and I put my EIN number, you know, the tax ID number, Ben, I mean, uh, John, and then I got dizzy. I got dizzy, man. I've been dizzy since then because of this nonsense. So you think you can help me, John? Yes, sir. I'm going to help you. All right, good man. Huh? With the pin, I will be able. With the thank you for giving me the pin. With the pin, I will be able to access to see what's going on, sir. Very good. So you want me to be silent for a minute? Huh? I need to tell you something, sir. We yeah. need to talk to the non-profit department because your enrollment was rejected. You were not approved to be a non-profit, to have a non-profit account. Really? Why? Because because my name was Mohammed Chiban and I uh, stand up for what's right? Yeah. What's that? Why they deny me the non-profit? Why it's rejected? Well, that is what we need. That's what I'm going. Non-profit department, then the support for this for this type of process, they are going to tell us why you were not approved. So you want me? Wait, 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 John, John, are you gonna do all of this and I'm gonna wait here, right? Yes, sir. All righty, go right ahead, huh? Alrighty. Thank you, John. Do not hang up. Please stay on the line just a moment, sir. Alrighty then. I won't hang up. At least the classic music. I miss my classic music. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get my coffee. Be back.
okay while we waiting let me chat with you not you john okay google just send me a google for work support case number 08455931 and i'm not concerned about my privacy and it says customer needs to be approved for the nonprofit's account okay and that took place four months ago when i uh, you know i knew that for many months all right but but google as any other corporate america they jerking people and conning them and frauding them and denying them the right the right and that's why i don't say this is violations this is fraud this is crimes it's very much indeed like anything else, like the Social Security Administration tried to fraud, you know, uh, Social Security recipients. Like the Federal uh, Veteran Administration trying to fraud the federal, uh, uh, vet, veterans and push them to the curb and be homeless everywhere. Uh, not to mention infection, you know, with the uh, drugs and uh, everything. <laughs> All right. And then now they tell them to prove. <laughs> prove that you are a Vietnam vet. Prove that you are a U.S. citizen. <laughs> That's what Cobra in America. Ah, yes. Hi. Yes. Oh, hi, this is Diego. I'm from the Army Consul Department. How are you doing today, Mohammed? Not very good, my friend. How are you? Oh, my imagine. Well, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. But I see, I see actually that you are calling uh, regarding uh, an application for non-profits, right? Yes. Being rejected. Uh, I see. Uh, uh, no, wait, 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 wait a minute here. Wait a minute. Uh, did Google have no? Uh, they have amnesia or some? They uh, they don't know who. They don't know who I am and whether I have non-profit or not. I see. Oh, no, no, I, I don't see. Can you explain to me why why Google is frauding people and committing crimes? This is fraud. This is fraud. It's, what do you mean? Huh? Excuse me? What do you mean with that? But it's just, um, did you get an email then when you... Submitted your, but then you, you get an email confirmation? Of course, I got email confirmation. I got some uh, right thinking individual from Northern, Northern Ireland calling me, and they, they I, everything is documented. What are you talking about? What's your name again, sir? First name? Hello? Yes, I'm still here. Your first name? Oh. Diego. 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 Uh, so that's right. Yeah, yeah. Diego. Uh, well, you're asking me like you you like I'm a, a stranger called from somewhere and you have no clue who I am. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to insult you, but I just wanted to know what you're working for Google, Diego. Yeah, that is correct. Uh, and you're working for the non uh, Google for nonprofit, Diego. Uh, actually, so you are not Google. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let, let's let's rewind a little bit here. So you are not Google. Yes, we work for Google for work support. You're working for Google, so you are an affiliated with Google, but you are not Google. They hire you to come people and fraud them. Not you, Diego. Your company are frauding and uh, committing crimes against people. By asking them who are you and what you do and uh, oh you uh, why they uh, turn you down and where is did they send you confirmation did you uh, uh, 
uh, I am dizzy now. I don't know why even I call you. And if you ask my name, I wouldn't remember. So, Diego, can you get this taken care of? Or can you call Google administrative executive officer or their legal department and tell them that you are in, in trouble with the federal... Well, the federal government handed them everything anyway. So, are you, are you going to still... You know, try to ask me who are, are you and what you want and wh who are you and why are they turning your application down and or you're going to take care of business. Diego. I thought that you already, I thought that you already know. It's denied, Diego. That's why John sent you to me. He go there and call you and took like five minutes and talk to you and explain everything thoroughly. And now you come over and you tell me, let me find out about what uh, the status of your application. You already told me they deny you. All right, Diego. Thank you, Diego. Are you not going to ask me for uh, a payment method, Dio? Hello? Yes, you are not going to ask me for a payment method or remotely. No, All right, good, Diego. I I gonna wait. Go ahead and do your magic, man. Thank you. Okay. Are you still there, Diego? Yes. And you're not gonna hang up on me, are you? Okay. Thank you, Diego.
Diego, you guys are having fun there. I can see, I can hear. Yeah, but you look, 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 wait. Yeah, hold on a second, Diego. Diego, Diego. I got the status of the nonprofit. I filed first with the Secretary of State in May, April of 2013. Okay, almost three years ago. Then I got the 501c3 approved. All right, and and the status by last uh, May. Oh, yeah, last May, 2015. Okay, so th that it should be happening since I have that EIN number when I filed in 2013 because this is what it considered that I, I am non-profit. Now, whether I got the 501c3 approved because he got three years to file for that 501c3 and I did it after one year and I earned it in two years you know they approve it after two years so I still I was I was there since 2013 so what are they talking about they saying oh well you didn't have the status and this and that and all that when I enter that application my friend and 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 Google knows who I am Google is selling my information to the federal government and everywhere. And I've been investigated of uh, who, who did what and why you're going in Facebook and doing this and what you think of ISIS and what you think of uh, the Zionist terrorist organization and all that nonsense. But yet, when it comes to benefits that they, they, they denying people and stripping them and frauding them out, they're asking you who did what and when. And you are not, they didn't have the status. And you, it's, it's like everything else. Every, even the government does it to people, the federal government. Globally, they do it to the whole globe. So please, okay? That's what happened, Diego. It's not because they're trying to fraud people out of the livelihood and charge them, sell them everything, even though they earn it. <laughs> and that's, that's the problem that we have, and it's not... It's not some that is, uh, well, oh, well, we didn't do this and we didn't know that you are a non -profit. They know everything about me. <laughs> they do. So. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm talking about the non-profit. I'm not talking about me. Who cares about me? I'm talking about the non-profit. Institute of Southland American Muslims was established in April of 2013. Okay. So that's the, that's the date, huh? Yeah. But in order for you to get the approval, you needed to have a Google Apps account. I can see right here that the enrollment was submitted on August last year, and at that moment, a Google Apps account with your domain did not exist, right? Oh, well, well, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. I have, I have the Google Apps account since 2005 or 2006, I don't remember now, but... Google didn't do any non-profit and all, this is all new, all right? Now, Google did not, I don't know when Google started hosting domains because it was all GoDaddy and other host, play, you know, was no Google. And then when I find out that Google does that, I bought the domain and I transferred my domains with Google as I was advised in October by that guy, Troy, in, you know, in Northern Ireland, you know? He has a, a Irish accent, and we talked for an hour, hour and a half, and he explained to me that you got to change. So I called, uh, well, I went to uh, GoDaddy, 
and uh, try, try to transfer. But you know, all of these giants, corporate America, they try to fraud people out of everything, and they all just going like crazy, you know, committing crimes against the masses. And the, the, GoDaddy didn't want to let go my account. And that's why it took me a while. And then once once I w was able to find out and figure it out, even though Google make it impossible for, for people to, everybody, every company, making it impossible for people to just do the norm thing. They want to sell them everything and they want to fraud them out of everything. And it's just, it's just getting too much. Now, so now the stat, what is the status now? Do I have to go and re-enter the application and get dizzy and sign here and give me the bin, num bin number and give me this code or whatever? And what, what's your uh, concern about your privacy? Who's what your firstborn? What did you eat for dinner last night? And all that nonsense. Or are they going to go ahead and honor and stop frauding people? Yes. If they only suspend it after the trial. All right, it got suspended back in November because the trial expired, the 30-day trial, right? Yeah. The trial is removed once that you get the approval, you get a free subscription that no longer expires, right? But that's what is missing. Now I will, I will, I will insist on, I will appear of seven days, so that gives uh, you time to submit the enrollment and get the approval by the... Right. But uh, I will activate the account, but then you will have to submit the enrollment again. Because the last time it was submitted was back in August. Yeah, okay. Uh, Diego, the did you... Account did not exist. Yeah. yeah, did you send me an email with the link and everything so I can go ahead and do it? Right, so do you still have that email uh, with the rejection? No, 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 no. Here is... I'm going to give you the email. Send it to this email here. Uh, are you ready? Uh huh. And an enrollment for Google Apps. Once you submit it, it days for the nonprofit team to they give you the upgrade. Right? Uh, all righty. Now the other right. thing. Within the next day. All right. Are you able to sign into that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. I I already have the case number open and everything. Google for support or whatever. Uh, you know the reference number. But uh, what? Wait, wait. Before you go now. Why you guys know about billing, right? Because the next thing is gonna say, Oh, well, set a billing. Set a billing for what? I already have Google Wallet and it has money on it. So, what billing are you talking about? It's a different thing because billing with Google Apps for work is different from a Google Wallet, right? So, who's gonna get the billing? <laughs> Who's going to get the billing, my friend, uh, Diego? And how much is it? No, you don't have to set up billing. It's just because the trial expires, that's why the next step is... Oh! Since you are applying for Google for non-profit, I will recommend not to set up billing. What I will do is uh, uh, just uh, activate the account, because right now it's suspended, right? It's like you, when you sign up, you activated a trial. After 30 days, it expires, and oh. it will just ask you for a bill, right? Because Google Apps is a paid service. But since you are applying for a free edition, it's non-profit, uh, we just need to get the approval, and then your account will be upgraded to the free edition, right? And you will not need to enter and All right, then. Don't do it, please. And then, so and then... What I will do... Okay, go ahead. It's suspended. I will just activate it right now from my system for seven days. That's the maximum that the system will allow us to activate. In okay. In special cases, right? Right. So, All right. But for sure, that's what you will need, right? There are two things right here. You have your Google Apps account that you are trying to upgrade to a free edition, but you also have a Google for Nonprofits account that is where you use the application with the EIN and information of your organization. That was back um, uh, last year in August, right? That you submitted that. Okay, so resubmit it. Just to go. It's a different email address. 
Yeah, yes, yes. Okay, so Diego, can I go there and use the information from that application and just update it? Right, you have to resubmit the enrollment, right? So actually you need to go to google.com slash nonprofit okay. and sign in with the same email address that you originally used to apply. Okay. If you, do, if you use that account, that means it will no longer ask you to apply. It will just let you resubmit the enrollment. If it shows you uh, an application form, to see that means you are not using the correct email. But uh, is it possible that during our call, oh, just to come sign in, dot com slash nonprofits, but using the email address that you remember you used originally. All right. So that way we can submit the enrollment right now. Okay, hold on a second here. I I think I have it open here. I you know, let me see okay. what uh, let me see the pages here. Yeah, I got. I am. I am on that page. It said support, and uh, you know, this is for Google for nonprofit. I think. Uh, let me see. At the, uh, I'm the admin console. Uh, here you go. And it says Sid Bellings. Huh? Oh, okay, no, that will not be the one. That's the Google. The admin console for Google for work. Oh, okay. But actually, the URL you should go to is Google.com. Uh, okay, no, no, hold hey, on a second. I'm just going to reopen that uh, nonprofit uh, when I first called. Uh, I went to from the old account, you know, and I just said Google for nonprofit in my, uh, in my bo uh, inbox, and it, it gave me all the emails, and I click on it, and I was able to sign to that account. So let me do that while you're here, Diego, if you don't mind. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm gonna say here. Oh, here. Okay, Google. Yeah, my computer is going so slow, and I don't want to lose you, but bear with me. How do you go? Okay, yes. Hey, Google for nonprofit. Here you go. This is the first one. <clears throat> It says, uh, small business. Okay. What does it say when you access Oh, uh, okay. No, no, I didn't access it. Uh, you know, it, it went back to, and it jumped to, uh, here. Oh, no, second, no, second. Yeah, it's Google is not, it, it used to be very friendly user, but now it's just as uh, complicated and even a lot worse than any other, you know, uh, browsers. So unbelievable, unbelievable, and they outsource everything to everyone to, to you know, to fraud people. Any, anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, you see here, it's taking forever to <laughs> reload. Yeah, you see, the, until you get dizzy and you get frustrated and you go take some skittles, <laughs> and you don't go to sleep. <laughs> See, it's not gonna. Uh, uh, bear with me, uh, Diego. Yeah, yes. Go ahead. Oh man, here we go. Oh, and that's the page that's the Google.com. Okay, Google for nonprofit. Here you go. For nonprofit grants. So hello, Mohammed. Here is Google Ad, Ad Grants Program. Sign into. Apps. 
sign in here, sign in to your Google nonprofit account, right? Yes, click on sign in. And uh, as I was telling you, there is a possibility that when you submitted the application originally last year, you did not do it with the email address or that you use with Google Apps, right, to sign into the admin console. You may have used a personal Gmail or any other Google account. Do you remember what made that be? Yeah, well, the first, fair, fair. Yeah, first when I signed in, I signed with the other email, which is a non-profit. It was uh, islam one us dot uh, uh, at gmail dot com. That's the first one. And then I called when I uh, talked to them. I changed it to my personal email, which is the oldest one, Alexandria, the main one, Alexandria Shaban eighty five at gmail dot com. Then they give me they give me another email which is Islam One US at Islam One US dot uh, dot org or dot com. You know what I mean? And that was a nonprofit account. Uh, now here it says uh, Google for nonprofit and it giving me the whole new thing and it says join in. So just to start a new application then. Or sign in. So that means that means that will not be the correct account then. Oh uh, no no no! Hey, wait wait wait! It, wait sign in. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I, I I just click on the sign in. You see that's why they get you dizzy, Diego. They send you everywhere to get you dizzy. Google for nonprofit. Uh, okay, my organization sign in. Here you go. Approved. It says approved now. Huh? Okay, so you're on the right place then. Do you see that button that says sign up now? Okay. Yes. Click on it. Okay. And then what you will get is a different in, in a rule for. Probably rule for no, uh, ad grants for non profits or um, YouTube for non profits. But then you will see Google Apps for non profits, right? Yes, yes. It says uh, here you go Google Apps for non profit. Yes, yeah, select that option, please. Okay. Alrighty, here you go. Let me see my organization, Institute of Sasla and American Muslims, Google Apps for Nonprofit Enrollment, Google Apps for Nonprofit, Sign Up, uh, Guide, and then where should I have verified my uh, domain? And oh, wait. let me see here. Oh, uh, here it says, oh, I have to, I have signed up for Google Apps. Click on that, right? And then I have verified my domain and activated my apps. Should I do that too? Yes, that's already done, right? Remember the Google Apps account that you have. Okay, so, oh, oh, here you go. Let me put my domain, hold on a second, here. Uh, domain domain name, just to enter the domain name, right? Oh, that's right. just type oh man. It went, it went, <laughs> I lost the page, hold on a sec, this is unbelievable, <laughs> my, my keyboard doesn't work, so I have to use the on-screen keyboard, and, <laughs> and oh, really? it's, a um, I'm telling you, Diego, they drove me nuts, man, that's why I don't sleep. Okay, so the domain, do I have to put www dot or just put the domain, domain name? No, just, just the naked domain, just islamonews.com. No, 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 I have, a, I have a new one now. Oh. I have the new one that I forward everything to this main one, okay? And what is the domain that, that you're applying for? The, the Google Apps account? The, 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 no, no, the domain I already have like... 14 domains with Google. I transferred all my Google Daddy and I bought new ones and I already have a, a website, you know, and I forward everything to one uh, website, which is, but all, everything is forwarded to this one. So I'm going to put the main one, right? One the screed. Yes, yes, yes. 
Yes, this is the one here. The one I told you? Or is that... No, no, that's a new one. What is the domain name then? Okay, what it's oneness, oneness, creed, dot us. No, 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 no. Oneness. O N E N E S S C R E E D dot U S. Oneness Creed dot U S. All right, here you go. I already did it, uh, Diego. Now I wanted to go to Grant. It was submitted then. Huh? It says. So it's, you were able to submit, yeah, it says a status. A status application received. All right, and also. Let's see. And now I wanted to uh, enroll for everything. I wanted to enroll. I already. I am on YouTube. I am uh, enrolled in Maps app, API for business, Google Earth, Bro, uh, everything. So just to go take one by one. Um, here's the thing: what, you have to submit the enrollment for the primary domain on the account, right? So, do you have a separate Google Apps account with that domain you gave me? My friend. No. Diego, Diego, every, yes, yes, everything, everything is directed forwarded to that domain that I put there. That's why they said application received, because if that was a, a domain that Google is not familiar with, they were rejected, right? Yeah, that's it, man. That's a primary. Trust me. I, I know what I'm doing, Diego. Wow, you do. So then I was checking on another account. The support ticket was created under uh, slamonews.com. And that's why I was checking on that account. Oh, no. Check on that US oneness. Just to go to oneness, like I said. Oneness greed dot, dot US. And greed is with the G, D, R, E, E, D? No, no. C, R, E, E, D. Yes. E -R -E -E -D. Right. Sorry, not finding the account. So please just spell it for me one more time, a little bit slowly. Yes. So I don't miss any character. So yes. O N E, right? O N E N E S S. And then C as in cat, R as in Randy, E as in Edward, E as in Edward, D as in David. Dot U S. Find it? Yes, before I had it with one S, so I was missing it. Oh, okay. Do you, are you able to sign into the admin console for that domain so that you can generate a support ping number? Alrighty then, let me see here. I'm uh, just uh, check. Uh, 
Okay, uh, let me uh, just do uh, So, what you want me to do, uh, John? To sign in. You need to sign in to the admin console. So, that will be on admin.google.com. Uh, I am here. I already got that. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh, so that resign now? Because I'm already on the, on the admin support here, and I have a, a pin number early for John. And I went to the same account, and I put that... Huh? Well, the Islam one, my friend. Look, Diego. I signed in... With the, with the original Islam one us.com all right now that domain is already been forwarded to the oneness creed that us so that it's the same you know oneness creed you have in order to go to oneness uh, I'm sorry Islam one us you can't put Islam1US.com. You have to put uh, OneNessCreed.us because all of my 14 domains forwarded to one domain, which is the main one, which is OneNessCreed.us. Follow me? Uh, All right. Well, uh, hold on. All right. But I did. Uh, 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 the reason I signed, uh, you remember, I went to my old email, and I signed <laughs> in for Google Apps, uh, Google uh, for nonprofit. With the old, from the old email from uh, October, remember? From October. I went there and I signed in and I added the new uh, one that's agreed to the, when they ask me about the website. You know what I mean? So when I signed in initially, I signed in in the one that's, uh, I mean, I'm talking about Islam1US.com. You follow me? But let me here. Let me how to contact Google. Uh, configure. Uh, Google Apps support pen. Okay. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. Right. It's nine. Uh, here. You wanted to get it, or you need a new one? It's not. Nine three four three six three two seven. Am I missing a number? Nine three four three six. Three two seven. Four three seven. No, no, three two seven. Three two seven. Yes. Existing 
collapse with one nest crit that you had. I understand that you have, but that's done from a domain host level, right? And you do some settings in the DNS, but... Uh, well, it says... Yeah, I, I think it, the, it taken, you know, remember it says, John said, or you said that it takes 24 hours to get this thing. So it says application submitted. So I believe it's not uh, created yet. So you want me to uh, just wait? No, but that's the thing. It's, uh, it's not the process of getting it to the thing is Okay, I'll get a new pen. How is that? I'll get a new pen. Hold on a second. Google. No, but that's the thing. I separate a Google Apps account is separate from Google for non-profits, right? So you, Google Apps is the, the, to access to the services, the Gmail, Drive, Calendar, and you get all that on a free. Oh, account so it's because Google. Because you are a non-profit organization, right? All right. So, uh, previous, you previous, remember, but for Islam, Islam One US dot com. All right. Wait, wait. And, Wait, wait. Well, I, I have when I originally, Diego, when I originally went there, it was the Google for nonprofit. I didn't do the Google apps because once you have to do the nonprofit first and then they give you the Google apps. You follow me? So I signed in initially an Institute of South Land American Muslims, Inc. That's my organization here. When I went there, it's already there. And it says Google for nonprofits. So, do you want me to get your pin number from that page? Because it's a, it's the same thing. That's how they recognize me with them. Um, what? Yeah. So, what do you want me to do? Get a pin from that? Okay, so it's just to go to uh, where should I go? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yeah, here. So you want me to go to my account or Google Apps? Apps dot google dot com. Go. Alrighty then. Uh, get started. Get email for business. Oh, okay. I already have an email and everything. So just to get started. Sign in or or just to get started? Get started, yes. I swear I could uh, swear that I have this. Okay. Now it says... Current email address, my oh, the name about you. So first, start to my name, right? Yes, your name. Uh, not the. Just to confirm, so that means that means that you will no longer use Google Apps with Islam Islam One US dot com because that's the account I'm asking you for billing, but then I uh, that's the one I activated for seven days. So you will no longer use that account? No, 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 no. I'm going to use the new one with the domain. With the one that's right? That's yes. That's what you want to get on a free edition for non-profits. Right. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, so that's what we're doing now. We're, remember, when you got the approval for non-profits with your EIN, you didn't need a Google Apps account for that, right? You got the approval because you are your, your organization shows up on the IRS. Right, so right, right, right. Oh, okay. But now, the enrollment that you just submitted for Google Apps, the one that gave you application received, uh -huh. you're applying with the one that's created that you... Yeah, but... For but the enrollment to be approved, that's why you need to have a Google Apps account with that domain. That's what we're setting up right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but John, John, my friend, I mean, uh, Diego, everything yeah. goes to the Institute of Southland American Muslim under the EIN number. So everything, when I put my name, my information, I am the director of this institute. Now, when they said business or organization name i put the institute of southland american muslims inc and then and then i put the employee number it matches that's what google has for since i started with you know with this uh, google for business and google for nonprofit and google 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 you know what i mean so google already already have this information long time ago established and uh, they, they have it there is no confusion there you follow me so when i put my information here it's gonna somehow match because it's gonna go back to the tax id number that is already they have it there you follow me they have yeah they have the ein is the, the ein of your organization yeah it's associated now to this new request that you added for right right for yes Right. But yeah, so let's continue then. Mohammed creating the, the Google Apps account. Just fill out the form with information you're being asked. They will ask the, uh, your name, the email you use, and uh, what will be the new username that you will use with this account, with this domain. Can you give me the number or you want me to go get it? The, the employee number, tax ID. The employee, uh, oh no, the employee number is, you get a drop down, right? So you can select one of the options. It's just an, uh, an approximate. It doesn't have to be an exact. You know approximately how many users would you require for this account? No, 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 no. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm talking about the business. Uh, oh, uh, they don't have, uh, they ask you about the tax ID number here, no? No, they don't. Okay, yeah, all right. Number, no, they will not ask you for that. Oh, okay, all right. All right, you're good, 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 good. They, they ask you for that only when you're applying for the first time. Oh, okay, so they already have it. Good, good. So, what, right. Yes, okay. Thank you, Diego. I'm just... Okay. No, don't worry, it's fine. 